I saw what was going on in Sayulinda, all this misery with the homeless dogs and the, and the pregnant dogs and the beach dogs that were full of mange. It's just, just horrible. In Sayulinda, the animals opened the clinic doors in February 2000. Over the course of time, <laughs> found myself pretty much committed all my free time and even some not free time <laughs> to taking care of the dogs and actually to help Sarah more with some of the finances and organization. She is definitely the director, founder, president, but she runs Adoption Foster and the sterilizations and I'm the director of medical aid and fundraising. We just broke our record last year, which was over 600. 604 animals in one year and the years before we were always around 350, 400 animals so uh, increased dramatically with uh, the vet here with um, Greto who comes once a week. So we do the spay and neuter here at the clinic every Thursday, it's an ongoing thing. Uh, we can sterilize up to 10 animals each Thursday. Uh, we get the animals in here and um, we weigh them. W once we weigh them, we know how much medication we can give them. And we draw it up, inject them, and then we prep them. And by prepping, we shave them and scrub them with betadine and get them ready for their surgery. service to the dogs that come in to get spayed or neutered. It's not just having them recovered from the anesthesia, but also like we do a little grooming, we put the uh, front line on them, we clip the nails, and um, this is all volunteer work and they are my angels, I call them, the volunteers that do the recovery, and they are, they are the best. <laughs> Tenemos cada jueves citas por 10, 15 animales. Entonces, si da su vecino, es gratis. But especially outside of Sayulita and some of the smaller towns, we knock on doors. And we offer a free service of sterilization. Uh, some people don't quite understand what we're doing. We have to explain a little bit. And then we have a vet from California, Dr. Charlotte Burns, who has been coming down five for five years, four times a year for a week. And then we can go to other communities to make big Spain order campaigns and have an impact on what's around Siberia.
What we mostly, mostly need for volunteers is foster homes because we are not a shelter, we can have the animals here and it's such a rewarding thing to do. He was found on the street in Tepic and he was almost uh, at death's doorstep and a young lady took him in and I found out about him and so when I arrived in November I took him in. I love helping animals, I adore animals, but it's not completely altruistic because Nino gives an enormous amount back to, to me. Every time there's a surplus at the clinic, Sarah gives me a call. Sarah, Kate, I got a puppy for you or I got a dog for you. Or, I don't know, it just seems to happen a lot. I've had about 40 in the last two years, maybe two, three years. And they've all gone off to good homes. Within a week, we were so much engaged to this dog. He was just lovely. We could learn him all kinds of things. That was the best part, I think. The happy dog. We're very happy that he has a permanent home with a Labradoodle friend. My name is Rob Reiner. I'm a practicing veterinarian for the last 28 years and I'm from Vancouver Island, British Columbia. I've been uh, volunteering here for the last couple of years and, and I think this is quite a unique program here. I think it's very good. The people who founded this organization and, and the, the prime people who run it are absolutely passionate about what they do. I think they made some very smart decisions when they started. They, uh, they decided not to have a shelter. Their focus is on putting animals in the foster homes where they can be in a home with people temporarily and to ultimately get them the forever home. Uh, I worked with uh, volunteer organizations back in Canada and 
one of the discouraging things is that over years you don't often see a change or an improvement. Whereas here, they say they've seen a measurable improvement and a decrease in the number of animals here in Sayulit and a decrease in the number of stray and street dogs. So uh, it's very encouraging to see that you're actually making a difference.